dear students welcome to you the gk class today we are going to study unit 1 incredible india in unit 1 we are going to cover seven chapters but let us look at those chapters what we are going to study in unit 1 today Today, in unit one, our topic is incredible India. We are going to study uh, these following chapters. First chapter is Great Mughals, and second chapter the Judiciary, and third chapter Indian Armed Forces, and fourth chapter Governing Educational Bodies. and then fifth chapter sea ports of india and sixth chapter learning centers and then seventh chapter success and global indian so uh, let us uh, look at great mughals the first chapter is today chapter 1 great mughals to the middle of the 15th century to the beginning of the 17th century the mughal empire Count to almost the entire Indian subcontinent. The great Mughal changed the face of India with their political, military, and artistic achievements. We are going to study about or in questions about um, Mughal Empire. Who was the father of Babur? And Sharif Mur Sheikh Mirza was the father of Babur. Who was a What was a first land revenue system known as? A first land revenue system was known as a jati system. Who built Moti Mahal in Agra? Shah Jahan built Moti Mahal in Agra. Next, we are going to see who was the successor of Akbar. Jahangir was the successor of Akbar. Who lost the first battle of Panipat? Ibrahim Lodi. Lost the first battle of Panipat. And who wrote Babur Nama? Babur himself wrote Babur Nama. What is the full name of Akbar? The full name of Akbar is Jalaluddin Muhammad Akbar. Who was the last Mughal emperor? Aurangzeb was the last Mughal emperor. Which trader first came to India during Mughal period? Portuguese traders first came to India during Mughal period. Which metal was used to make coins in Mughal era? Silver was used to make coins in Mughal era. Which Sikh guru was executed by Aurangzeb? Sikh guru. Sheikh Bahadur was executed by Aurangzeb. Which monument was built by Akbar as a memento of his victory in Gujarat? Bulan Darwaza was built by Akbar as a memento of his victory in Gujarat. Which Mughal king started a new religion named Din e Lahi? Mughal king Akbar started a new religion named Din e Lahi. Who was the successor of Sher Shah Suri? Uh, Sikandar Suri was the successor of Sher Shah Suri. Which part of Gujarat was known as the Gate of Mecca? Gujarat was known as the Gate of Mecca. Okay, now we will be in Chapter Two, the Judiciary. Judicial system of the court or the court system is law. And who will step for the welfare of citizens? It is responsible to ensure and reinforce law and order and solve the fears. Judicial system consists of judges and other magistrates. They form the bench or the core of the judiciary system. Judicial system of India consists of Supreme Court, also known as Apex Court, 
high code, disk free code, and subnet code. Now we are going to see Supreme Court. Supreme Court, under the Constitution of India, the Supreme Court is the final code of appeal. Any law declared by the Supreme Court is binding on all other courts of all states of an Indian territory. High Court. Every state of India has one high court. It deals with economic issues and legal documents. Issues. District courts. District courts or subordinate courts are subordinate to high court. District courts are established according to the population, distribution of the district, and criminal matters of the district. And subordinate courts function under the complete control and supervision of the high court. Now we're going to see the following procedures. In which year Supreme Court of India came into force? Supreme Court of India came into force on January 28th in 1953. Who is the first Chief Justice of India? Harilal Jakishandas Kananya. Who appointed the judges of Supreme Court? Presidents appointed the judges of Supreme Court. Who was the first female judge of Supreme Court? Fatima Gedi. Which court, High Court, has the jurisdiction over Andaman and Nicobar Island? Kolkata High Court. Which is the highest law of the land? Indian Constitution. Where is the Supreme Court located? At Tilok Mark, New Delhi. Who administered the oath to a High Court? The governor of the state. How many judges are here in the Supreme Court? 34 judges. Who is currently the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court? Sarath Arvind Bobade. Indian Armed Forces Chapter 3. The defense of the country is the responsibility of the army. The Navy and the Air Force. The President of India is the ceremonial commander in chief of the armed forces of the country. The responsibility for national defense, however, rests with the cabinet. The administrative and operational control of the armed forces is exercised by the Ministry of Defense, which constitutes the following the defense and department of defense, research and development. Department of Defense, Production and Supply. Now we're going to see the following question here. When was Indian Army established? Indian Army was established in 1895. Who is known as the father of Indian Army? Major Stringer Lawrence. Who is the first Indian to become commander in chief of army? K. M. Kariyapa. Who is the first field marshal of independent India? M. Maneksha. Which is the largest cantonment in India? Bachinda. Who, which is the India's first nuclear submarine? INS by hand. What is the motto of Indian Army? Service before self. What is the motto of Indian Navy? Samna Haruna. What is the motto of Indian Air Force? Navam Parsam Dipadam. Where is the headquarters of Indian Army, Indian Navy, and Indian Air Force? New Delhi. How many commands are there in Indian Army? Seven. What is the smallest unit of Indian Army called? Section. What is the headquarters of training command of Indian Army? Simla. When is Indian Army Day observed? January 15. When is Indian Air Force Day observed? October 8th. 
Burmese Indian Navy up to December 14. Gallantry Awards. Gallantry Awards have been instituted by the government of India to honor the acts of military and sacrifice of the official personnel of the armed forces. Look at the image of the medal and write the name of the country towards the year. Parambhi Chakra. Parambhi Chakra is India's highest military decoration awarded for displaying distinguished acts of valor during war time. Parambhi Chakra translated as Queen of the Ultimate Brave and award is granted for most conspicuous bravery in the presence of enemy. Deer Chakra. Deer Chakra is an Indian wartime military bravery or presented for acts of conspicuous gallantry in the presence of the enemy on the battlefield and is not in precedence in wartime gallantry board. It comes after Parambi Chakra and Mahavir Chakra. Kriti Chakra. Kriti Chakra is an Indian military decoration awarded for valor, courageous action, or self sacrifice held in the field of battle. It may be awarded to civilian as well as military personnel, including posthumous awards. It is each time equivalent of Mahavir Chakra, it is second in order of precedence of this time gallantry awards. It comes after Osaka Chakra and before Surya Chakra. Mahavir Chakra. Mahavir Chakra, the second highest military decoration in India after Parambi Chakra, is awarded for acts of conspicuous gallantry in the presence of the enemy. Asaka Chakra. The Asaka Chakra is India's highest peacetime military decoration awarded for valor and courageous action or self sacrifice held from the battlefield. It is peacetime equivalent of the Parambi Chakra and is awarded for the most conspicuous bravery or some daring preeminent fellow or sacrifice. Saurya Chakra. Saurya Chakra is an Indian military decoration awarded for valor, courage, courageous action or self-sacrifice while not engaged in direct action with the enemy. It may be awarded to civilian as well as military personnel. It is third in all of precedence of his time gallantry here to come after the Osaka chapter and Kriti chapter. Now we are going to study chapter 4, Governing Educational Body. The government of India, along with all state governments, has formed many sovereign and independent governing bodies for regulating the education system in India at all levels. The following are the governing bodies of education system. University Grant Commission. It coordinates and determines and maintains a standard of university education and teaching in the country. Also, it releases the grants for university in India. Indirandi National Open University. It delivers quality of higher education in various disciplines to distance more Conduct undergraduate, postgraduate, and certificate program. Medical Council of India. This council sets standards of higher qualification in medicine and recognizes medical qualifications in India and abroad. It deals with medical colleges and hospitals and medical professionals of the country. All India Council for Technical Education. Religion. Adversary ethics body, which will maintain the standards of the technical institutes in India like BE and BA. National Council for Educational Research and Training. It is an organization responsible for the improvement of education of school children. It promotes educational research, improves educational techniques, and develops curriculums, methods of teaching. Techniques of education direction. The National Council of Teacher Education. 
It is an adversary body to the government at the center and the state on matters related to teacher education. Bar Council of India. It is a statutory body that regulates the legal practice and legal education in India. The National Assessment and Accreditation Council. It is responsible for assessing and accrediting institutions of higher education in India. The National Institute of Opening Schooling. It is a national board that administer examination for secondary and senior secondary examination of open schools similar to the CBSC and CISC to increase the literacy and about education to rural areas. Indian Nursing Council. It is a national regulatory body for nurses and nurse education in India. A central Council of India Medicine. It is a statutory body on the Ministry of Health and Government of India. It is one of the professional council at the University Can Commission to monitor higher education in Indian systems of medicine, including Ayurveda and Sita. Chapter 5 Chief Force of India. India has a coastline of 7,516.16 kilometers, forming one of the biggest peninsulas in the world. Around 95% of India's trading by volume and 10% by value is done through maritime transport. By the name, which is the following port are located: Andhra Port, located in Gujarat. Navashiva Port, Maharashtra, Murmugao Port, Goa, Vishakhapatnam Port, Andhra Pradesh, Vyavi Port, Odisha, Aldia Port, West Bengal, Cochin Port, Cochin, Port Blair Port, Andaman, Inur Port, Tamil Nadu, Mumbai Port, Maharashtra, Bangalore Port, Karnataka, Ego, Dambaranam, Port, Tamil Nadu, Kolkata Port, West Bengal. Chapter 6 Learning Center. There are many centers for learning in India situated in different cities. Let us see how much you know about it. Indian Space Research Organization, situated in Bengaluru. Institute of Life Sciences in Bhubaneswar, Bhava Atomic Research Center in Trombay, Mumbai, Physical Research Laboratory, Chennai, Central Institute of English and Foreign Language, Hyderabad. National Institute of Design, Ahmedabad. National School of Drama, New Delhi. Film and Television Institute of India, Pune. National Institute of Sports, Patiala. National Institute of Mental Health and Neurosciences, Bengaluru, Wildlife Institute of India, Dehradun, National Law School, Bengaluru. Our success are global Indians. Many Indians who have migrated to other countries have been making their presence felt by excelling in a wide range of career spectrum. Here are the following remarkable persons to be noted. Bobby Jindal is an American politician who is 55th and current governor of Louisiana. He is the second Indian American in Congress. Kalpana Chawla. She, she was the first Indian American astronaut and 
first Indian woman in space. In her space mission, she spent 30 days, 14 hours, and 54 minutes in space. She had been in the space shuttle from the air. The tennis player later on he moved to America and became one of the Hollywood's biggest producers. He made more than 120 films, the chairman and CEO of Hyde Park Entertainment Corp. Neera Nayan. She is an Indian American filmmaker based in New York. Her production company. Mirabai Film specializes in producing movies which are suited for international audience on Indian society. Padma Lakshmi. She is a well known actress, model, television host, author of Cook's Book. She became famous after she became the host for US best reality show Top Tip. She basically born in New Delhi and to lend her family host which she did her schooling and higher education in the U.S. Satyana Gela. Currently, he is the CEO of Microsoft. Prior to this, he worked with Sun Microsystems as a member of technology staff. Sundar Pichai. He is an Indian-American business executive. Joined Google as a product manager leading innovation efforts on software products, including Google Chrome, Chrome OS, Google Drive. Later, he was appointed as a CEO of the same company. Indian Wing. She was born to a Tamil speaking family. She is a world top richest woman. She heads. 142 million watt US based giant PepsiCo beverage company. Kamala Harris. She is the first woman to become Attorney General of California and the first Indian American to be Senator. Jubin Mehta. She is an Indian conductor of Ocean and Eastern Classical Music. He has conducted Officer around the world. He was the music director of Israel Philharmonic Orchestra. That's the students for today. So we'll be meeting again until we meet each other. Take care and all the best for your unit one. So please study your. Unit one, incredible India. Until we meet, stay healthy and stay safe. Thank you.